Hey guys, it's Christina Marie, and I usually do videos about beauty, fashion, and traveling. But today I wanted to talk to you about my dog. He is a Bichon Shih Tzu, Bichon Frise Shih Tzu mix, um, also known as a Shishan or a, a Zukon, I think. So anyway, I wanted to explain to you um, a little bit about the Bichon Frise Frise say um shih tzu mix in case you're thinking about getting one um i'm not a dog expert this is just my personal experience with my dog i'll explain to you a little bit about his temperament his um size how they deal with being alone how they deal with kids people other dogs and then just some things to know about having a Bashan Shih Tzu mix. Okay, so first thing is um, he, this dog specifically, dude, has a really good temperament. My mom actually chose him out for me. Um, there were other dogs. She chose the one that was like, pick me, pick me, pick me. So he is a big people person. I will say that the Sean Shih Tzu mixes are big, big kissers. So he loves to um, kiss everybody that he sees. And he goes up to strangers when I'm walking them and just wants to jump on everybody and give them big kisses and lots of love. I'll say a Bashan Shih Tzu mix, or at least mine, um, is super duper chill and easygoing. So for example, when I'm taking him on a walk, he's like, yay, I'm happy to go on a walk. And then after walking, um, when I say it's time to go home, he's like, okay, I'm excited to go home. Um, there was another dog that barked at him and he's like, oh, okay, we're just going to keep on walking. Um, one time a blind deaf dog actually bit him when they were playing. Um, and afterwards, like dude didn't attack the dog, didn't bite him. And he was like, oh, okay, we're just going to keep on walking now after the fact. So in my experience, Bashan Shih Tzu mixes are super duper easygoing, really, really chill and big kissers. Um, let's talk about size next. So dude is pretty big for a Bashan Shih Tzu. He is like how how big how much are you um 17 pounds maybe 17 and a half um they're supposed to be 12 to 15 pounds ish um so dude's pretty big for his size he's he's very very long um he's a muscular little guy um, but he still fits under the airplane seat, which I really like. I can travel with him super easily. So if you want a pet to travel with, I will say Bashan Shih Tzu mixes are great pets. He personally um, is just really, really happy and chill all the time. Um, let's talk about barking. Do Bashan Shih Tzu's bark? So I think all dogs pretty much bark unless you train them not to. So my mom actually raised him pretty much and dude is really good about not barking um, at other dogs. He never barks at people. I'll say he does bark a little bit at like a husky when a man is walking his husky in my building um, or some other dogs in the building that like apparently everybody's dog barks at. But in general, like when we're walking by pit bulls, other large dogs, dude is chill. Um, other like skateboarders, I walk a lot. Most dogs like bark when there's um, skateboarders or bicyclists coming by, dude doesn't bark at all. So if you're thinking of getting a Bashan Shih Tzu, if you train them well not to bark, um, they'll be really good. Personally for training him, we would just say no barking and then kind of like close his mouth and that's how he stopped barking. Um, for obedience, I would say I personally didn't train Dude to do very much except sit. So he sits quite nicely. I've seen other people train their Bashan Shih Tzu's to like play dead, to lay down, to come, to shake. So you can definitely train them to do all of those things. Um, let's talk about potty training. Um, for me personally, Dude never has accidents. We trained him with a pee pad when he was younger um, and he 
I don't know, he never has accidents in my apartment. Um, usually when he really wants to go, he'll like sneeze to let me know he's ready to go on a walk. I personally walk my Bashan Chitsu every like four or five hours. There have been days where like a neighbor was supposed to walk him. I left at 8.30 a.m., didn't walk him. I got home at five and he was fine and didn't pee or anything. So they are um, very good about being potty trained. Um, I will say, what else? Oh, let's talk about leaving them at home alone. Bashan Shih Tzus are very, very sociable animals. If you want a dog that will just like sleep all day and be okay by themselves, I would not recommend getting a Bashan Shih Tzu. He is a um, very, very sociable dog. He does get sad when I leave the house. He loves people. So I think if you're thinking of getting a Bashan Shih Tzu, make sure that um, ideally you might have like a at home dog job or at, like for me I pay a dog walker personally every day to walk him and try to get home early so I can spend time with him. Um, let's talk about Bashan Shih Tzus and how active they are. So I read online that Bashan Shih Tzus are good with just like 30 minutes of play a day. Dude is much, much, much more active than that. Um, I walk him in the morning. I walk him at lunch. I walk him in the evening at least twice. So he is capable of walking like five miles a day um, and he likes to play a lot. So I have tons of toys for my Bashan Shih Tzu. He loves this big elephant. I have a little elephant. I have a lobster. He's like, what are you doing with my toys? Bunny, um, I have so many toys for my Bashan Shih Tzu and he loves to play catch. Um, he walked away. Let me go and grab him really quick and continue the video because I think it's helpful if you can see the dog while I'm okay. talking. So I'm back. Um, let's talk about cleaning a Bashan Shih Tzu. So Bashan Shih Tzus are hypoallergenic, which is great. Um, they come in different colors, but most of the Bashan Shih Tzus like dude here are white with like a creamy kind of caramel coloring. Right now, dude is very, very dirty. My dog groomer um, had his kid in the hospital, so dude hasn't been washed in about eight weeks. Um, so you're supposed to give your Bashan Shih Tzu a bath about every like four weeks, which in my opinion is really easy care. I do give him special like anti-itch shampoo because he did get really, really itchy the first time I took him to the dog groomer and was scratching himself. So um, you do have to get them like the anti-itch shampoo. Um, for grooming, ideally you should brush your Bashan Shih Tzu every day. Personally, I don't do that with dude. Um, I brush him maybe once a week, um, but he stays like pretty clean. Um, like I said, like the dirt just falls off of him um, all over my apartment, I guess. But Bashan Shih Tzus are very clean animals, hyperallergenic. Um, you will have to clean their eyes. So I will say like he gets goop in his eyes every morning. So if you are thinking of getting a Bashan Shih Tzu, Bishan Shih Tzu mix, I would recommend you just get a warm washcloth and like clean the inners of their eyes. Um, okay, let's talk about Bashan Shih Tzus and kids. He loves kids. He's very sweet with kids. He just kisses them. Same thing with adults. Bashan Shih Tzus just love people. Like I said before, he's a huge, huge kisser, loves strangers. Um, he will go up to strangers and just hop on their lap and be like, hi, I'm here. Um, so Bashan Shih Tzus are great with people and he loves playing with other dogs um, of all sizes actually. Probably smaller dogs are best just because I get worried, but he seems to like all of them. Um, food, you just give them normal, I guess, kibble. I have a Purina one food that I honestly just leave out for my Bashan Shih Tzu all day. He doesn't overeat. He just snacks whenever he's hungry. And then I give him fresh water each day. 
Um, I have a flea collar around his neck here so that he doesn't get any fleas. And that's about it. Um, I personally love my Bashan Shih Tzu dog. He is so, so happy. Um, I was thinking before my mom gave me her Bashan Shih Tzu, I was thinking about getting like a Cavapoo or a Cockapoo. Um, my friends have those breeds of dogs. I personally, this is me, I really like having a white dog because I can see his eyes. They just stand out. Um, I feel like he has a little bit more energy than the cockapoos and cavapoos that I've seen. And he seems a little bit more interested in people than other dogs that I've seen. Um, he's definitely a people person. I don't know whether that's all um, Bashan Shih Tzu mixes, but that is my dog. So in summary, um, I personally am so, so happy that I have a Bashan Shih Tzu dog. He is such a personable kind of dog right now. He is tired because it's nap time, but this breed of dog is super duper easy going, wants to be with you all of the time, loves strangers, loves kids, loves other dogs. I will say um, he is kind of a lot to handle, so sometimes he does get bored and will let me know that he wants to go out on a walk or that he does want to play fetch um, because he does, if he's not sleeping after 10 minutes, he will get a little bit bored. Um, but like I mentioned, he doesn't bark at all. Super easy going about everything. Um, I can take him anywhere and he's chill and happy. I'll say he doesn't like costumes, but other than that, um, he basically likes everything. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, what else, dude? Anything else to tell them? I don't think so. Um, so anyway, if you have any questions about the Sean Shih Tzu's, like I mentioned, I'm not a dog expert. I just happen to have my little dog. Sometimes he shows up in my YouTube videos. So I figured I would do a YouTube video just to talk about my personal experience owning a Bashan Shih Tzu. If you thought this video was helpful, please subscribe below. And again, if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll help you out with my personal experience of owning a Bashan Shih Tzu. Thanks guys.